by the way. Looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. You have my thanks. Oh, yes. A report of success. I've been waiting for you. Of course. You have my thanks. Shame. Are you accepting a request? Come to think of it. I will await a report of success. a request if I may say so I will await a report of success very well then Accepting a request? Wonderful. Is that true? You have my thanks. Very well then.
Oh, it's you. Welcome back. I decided to hold this study session for us to concentrate on the upcoming exams. Amada, I invited you to join us so you can focus on your own studies. Your presence is welcome here. Thank you for inviting me. I'll make sure not to be a bother to everyone. To the rest of you, I want you to set a proper example and take your studies seriously. Going to study with us, Korochan? Good boy. <coughs> Koromaru san says that he will accompany us here as we study. Well, aren't you a little hard worker? Unlike Junpei over there who can't stop yawning. <sighs> I can't really deny it. Wouldn't mind being in his place right about now. Dogs never have to study for exams like this. Man, what a life. He is glad that you understand. Koromaru-san never misses a day patrolling the neighborhood, after all. You hear that? Think you could keep that up every single day? Damn it. The dog wins again. Koromaru-san may not have an obligation to study, but he has another important mission. True. He's been protecting that shrine this whole time. That sounds like something far more difficult. Guess if you want to be a dog, you'd better develop some diligence, like Koromaru here. Being a dog is harder than it seems. You'd be better off just studying, Junpei-san. Oh, stop! Don't look at me like some pitiful creature! All right, that's enough chit-chat. Let's concentrate on our studies. All right, I think we can begin wrapping things up. Good work, everyone. And Iori. After all the dog talk, I do hope you were able to get through the material you needed to cover. Uh... Woof? Oh, I see. So you're still learning, then? As a dog, I'll need to give you strict behavioral training. Yeah, I I'm kidding! It was a joke! I'm totally cool being human. No training needed! I'm good! That will conclude the group study session. It is time for a much-deserved rest.
Good grief. stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay. But those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day, and I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Oh. Why, why are you so 
nice to me. Are you like this just with me? <laughs> no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? I sure am lucky to have such a good friend who's so kind and reliable. Though sometimes you worry me a little. Sometimes you say suggestive things with a straight face, you know? I get the feeling you might give someone the wrong idea. So you should really be careful about that. It could land you in some hot water. Take my advice to heart. Sorry, this isn't what I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you again for coaching with me. I'm glad I had someone like you to rely on. <laughs> Next time, I'll be there to support you. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know, okay? We're friends, aren't we? I'm gonna head out. Gotta work on my modern literature and English today. See ya! everything going.
Sorry about last time, but, you know, forget about it, all right? Anyway, would you mind listening to this old man complain? I'm sober today, so sit tight, will ya? All I had to do was look all serious and recite the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kinda makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. If my little temple was some kind of convenience store. That's only half true, kid. Sure, I've got no time for leisure, but I'm definitely not poor. It varies, of course, but an offering can sometimes be as much as a white-collar worker's year-end bonus. But, as you can see, I'm too busy. I gotta push this old body of mine to the limit. I hate this work-your-ass-off mentality. Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. I can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker, too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. <sighs> yeah, maybe you're right. You gotta know when to quit when you're ahead. Oh. Then how's this for an excuse? Never filed for divorce, and I've got some pretty good real estate now that I've inherited this temple. It's not a bad deal. Got enough money that I can retire and just enjoy the rest of my life. What do you think? Oh, um, well. Thinking about asking him to come back. You know, my wife, my son. First, I gotta find out where they are. I'll hire a detective, I don't care how much it costs. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm gonna be concentrating on them, so I won't be seeing you anytime soon. Well, I'm glad this is it. One brat is all I can handle at a time. And I've got to deal with my own son now. Like this, I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. All right, let's get going, kid. I'm going to do it.
Good, good. Not bad, kid. I got really into my reading last night, and never went to sleep. I thought I'd be fine since I've lost sleep from the pain and anxiety of my illness before, but I suppose I'm not doing my health any favors like this. Thank you. Or rather, I suppose I should apologize. It's been so long since anyone told me off or anything. I came out here because I was hoping to find you. 
I only have so much time left, you know. Do you remember when I said I liked reading heartwarming stories? There are as many stories as there are stars in the sky, but I don't think any of them are what I'm looking for. The problem is, none of those stories were written for people like me. I guess I'm just being selfish. Just like I am with you, too. You're always coming to visit me, keeping me company and talking with me. How much of your valuable time have you spent with me? I don't deserve it. You're spoiling me. That's why I like you so much, though. in such a good mood that I overexerted myself. I'd like to see you again sometime. Again. Seriously, how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towels stink so bad. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I got in the way of your walk, didn't I? I should start heading home anyway. See you later, doggy. 